Hi, welcome back to another video with Indigo Math. Today I'm going to show you how to draw a trigger graph. Let's start. Okay, moving on to part B, it says hence sketch the graph of the A cos 2x plus B. Now please take note of the domain given they gave you to draw only from 0 to 3 pi over 2. So I'm going to bear that in mind because I need to be mindful mm -hmm. of how many cycles of the cosine graph to draw. Let's go and see how many cycles to draw first. Since I've got the coefficient of x here to be 2, this tells me that in 360 degrees or in 2 pi, I will see 2 cycles. So if you want to find a period, period in simple terms means how many degrees or how many radians one cycle lasts, all we need to take is to take 2 pi divided by 2, that means pi. So now you know one cycle lasts for pi. Using this domain given from 0 to 3 pi over 2, I'm going to see how many cycles of the cosine graph to draw. So I'll just take 3 pi over 2 divided by pi. I'll get 3 over 2, which is just 1.5 cycles of the cosine graph. Usually what I like to do is, I'm just going to draw the graph now. Start by drawing in the midpoint first. We had previously found that B is 3, right? So I'm going to draw in the dotted line here. B is 3. So I'm very sure of where my midpoint is. This is going to be 3. And I'll also draw in my highest and the lowest point so I know where to start and end. So my highest point is 8. My lowest is negative 2. That's what the question says. And I'm going to draw 1.5 cycles. So I'm going to start and just draw 1.5 cycles. This is one cycle and then I draw another half a cycle. And you realise, I never did add in the markings on my x-axis yet. Because if I were to add in, then my graph would be like kind of... It's very hard to draw the graph because it's very hard to gauge the distance. So I always leave that last because that saves us a lot of time. Now, your last portion is to add in your values on the x-axis. So we know that we are meant to draw from 0 all the way to 3 pi over 2, right? So I'm just going to mark this out as 3 pi over 2 and this portion is 0 so putting them in I know this is one full cycle which is pi so I'll put all these together and eventually we have got this to be pi over 2 as well all right now let me take you through the marking points for this question you realize this question here has got three marks so usually one mark is allocated to the shape of the cosine graph here and then you've got one and a half cycle. So that's the one mark that we've got. The other two marks, usually they will split it in terms of if I were to draw one of it here like that, this is going to be one mark, a half of the first mark and then another portion here and finally the last one mark will be for this bit. So that's how you score the total three marks. So if you want to find out more, come and join us in our September crash course and show you how to think about all these more challenging questions and also take you through some of these concepts and how we can apply them in the exam grade questions. See you in our next video where I'm going to do some trigger proofs. Bye!